A special Halloween edition of the online tutorials presented by Running Me Crafts. Now today, in today's episode, we're going to make a spider decoration for your Halloween party. Nothing says Halloween rather than a creepy spider, doesn't it? Not my favourite things in the world. I have a terrible fear of spiders, so. But these ones, I'm quite happy to happy to make and show you how to make these. So all we need is some styrofoam shapes we've got two we've got two styrofoam spears here these are about 40 yeah 40 centimeters 40 millimeters that's four centimeters in old money styrofoam egg to make the body there's some cocktail sticks for this one some decoupage glue and a brush i've just got that off of camera along with some acrylic paint in black and some black pipe cleaners for the legs now the first step for this one is to make the body so that's what we're going to use the styrofoam parts for so we're going to take one of the these little styrofoam balls and we're going to put a cocktail stick through the middle this will act as a dowel and this will this will also help with the putting the body together so we just take one cocktail stick and just a note for our, to our younger viewers, this, this actually is suitable for involved. Um, would also grant to help you with the with the cocktail stick because uh, as you can see they have got a sharp point on them so when doing this part be extra careful. So the best way to put the cocktail stick through the centre of the ball is to put the ball on the table like this and just gently push it down through the middle. At least this way quite safe and won't have any accidents and just turn it around clockwise pushing it as you go to get through to the so you push it in to get it through to the other side now, there we are so it's just coming through and once you push the stick through you want an equal equal part of the stick on both sides this will act as, as the dowels and make sure to attach the head of our spider which is uh, the other styrofoam ball and the egg which will be the abdomen part of the body now to put it now to assemble, now to assemble our, our spider we're going to use uh, we're going to use decoupage glue for this one so that's one side now for anyone who's uh, watched any of my videos previously or know that decoupage glue is just basically it's basically it's basically PVA glue with uh, with varnish mixed in. Um, now we all probably remember using PVA glue when we were at school when we were kids. But this one is perfect for styrofoam. Because when it dries, it seals it up. So so it'll make it easier to paint because Anyone who's tried to paint styrofoam or polystyrene in the past knows that styrofoam is very porous and it soaks up glue and paints in no mean fashion. So this is this is a good way to make it easier to glue it together. Now to glue the head to the body, so we don't so we do exactly as before. So we push the cocktail stick through like so until until it joins up. You can just see the glue there holding it together. So with that, I'll leave that for just a moment. Now we'll do the same again. We're on putting some, we'll put some more deck folds glue on the edge of the edge of the ball here. This is the middle of the body, and onto the onto the cocktail stick to join the abdomen of our spider. So just so just push the right, onto the cocktail stick as before. Just if it doesn't if it doesn't quite go, then just just turn it clockwise as you go to make sure it goes through. And and there we have our and that's the body of our spider. 
So the next, so the next part we're going to do is going to give our spiders some legs. Now I did, now I did mention earlier we are going to use um, pipe, what I call them pipe cleaners. We used to call them pipe cleaners when we were kids. We are going to use pipe cleaners to make legs a little bit later on in the video, but but for now we're going to put we're going to put some of these uh, some more of the cocktail sticks in. So we put one there. And so now the reason I'm using cocktail sticks is um is a when we paint it and when we put the when we cover it with decoupage glue later it will a make it easier to move around and b also gives you some holes in the in the styrofoam to attach the legs a little bit later on so but so we've got one here two three and four now we just repeat that on the other side so we've got the eight legs Six legs. There's seven. There is number eight. There we go. So now we've got our spider has eight legs. So now we've got our so now we've got the legs in place. The next the next stage is to cover the styrofoam with the decoupage glue, just just one coat. Now, as I mentioned before, we're going to be we're going to be painting this a little bit later on in this video. So the best way to paint to paint styrofoam shapes is to cover it with either a regular PVA glue, the ball space stuff we used to use in school, or the decoupage glue. I find I find the decoupage glue works a lot better because obviously it has to because it has the you know, it has the um, varnish mixed in with it as well so it gives it a nice nice sealed finish it's, yeah, it gives it a nice yeah, it gives it a nice sealed finish to for the glue to stick on to it also gives it also gives the styrofoam a little bit of extra strength as well which is which is good sorry to stir Call the camera there with the paintbrush. My apologies for that. <laughs> so when you're applying your decoupage glue where the legs are, just you know, just sort of, yeah, use a small use a smaller brush if you can, just to just go round. We don't yeah, just try not to get too much. Yeah, try not to get any glue around where the where the cocktail sticks are because when obviously when these get you know, because when he when these get pulled out later later in the video the decoupage the glue around it might tear a little bit but if it does not to worry you can always you know just take a smaller brush and just dab round those to fill those gaps and make sure all the styrofoam is is covered So, so we've done. So we've done the top half. So allow that to dry. I'd say drying time. Right, so around half an hour. So yeah, because it will. It will event. It will soak in, and when it dries, it will dry. So a, sort of, you'll see a very sort of thin, sort of matte coat on top of the decoupage glue. And the old that as you can tell then when it's dry. When it's dry, just turn it over. Repeat again. What you've done is to cover the. So it's, you know, just cover the. Just make sure to cover the make sure the whole the whole thing's covered with the glue. Allow it to dry. Then it'll be ready. Then it'll be ready for paint. Let's move that around a little bit. Give you a better view of what um what our spider body looks like currently. As I did admit earlier in the video on. Not, I'm not the biggest fan of spiders. Really. I think there's something, I don't know, there's something very unnerving about them, especially if they're large ones. I mean, it's, ever since I was a kid, I was very, obviously, very terrified of these things. But I think now I've got older, I'm sort of getting a bit more, feeling a bit better about them, shall we say. But on, but on the other hand, one of my, obviously, one of my favourite, yeah, on the other hand, my favourite. 
one of my favourite cartoon, uh, what's the comic book characters is Spider Man, so so spiders can't be all bad. Yeah, they can't. Yeah, they can't be all bad. So, fair enough. So all in all, not bad. Right, so we'll just leave our we'll leave our spiders to dry, and we'll come back to that in a few moments, and then we'll start preparing. We'll start preparing the legs while that's drying. We've just got a couple more moments to wait for the decoupage glue to dry on the spider's body. So just to keep things going, we'll um. We'll start making the legs. So he's, here are these, well, I used to call them pipe cleaners when we were kids, but I still do. I mentioned earlier to make the legs. So we get you can get a pack of, I think around 10 of these at most most craft shops for a couple of quid. And to, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut one of them up into, this, into the legs. So we're going to use the, we're gonna use the cocktail sticks as our, yeah, to measure the length. So, so what we do is we'll let's take our spider and we'll just measure up the we'll just measure it up against the one of the cocktail sticks. Then we'll use that as the length. But we'll just that we'll, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little tiny bit extra to because part of that will go into the body when when it's glued in later on. So we'll, so let's make sure we've got a sharp pair of scissors to cut these because there's a little bit of there's a bit of metal wire in between so so for our younger viewers if you're having trouble cutting these then just I'll just ask a grown up to help you cut these out so we'll need so we'll need ace we'll need ace of these that's two so we'll just put we'll just put the other ones to one side let's cut the third one So we've got three, so we've got three currently. So we need another, another, another few, another couple more. So we've got, so we've got four at the moment. We just need another four. So I think one more, yeah, one more of these, little, uh, one more of these sticks should be enough. That makes five. So I just want just while I'm cutting these last legs out. This is probably the first bit of Halloween craft I've done for a couple of years. It doesn't it doesn't come it's not it doesn't come up much. It does in the obviously in the support groups I attend where we we always do pumpkin carving and I thought we've probably done that to death over the years. You know, I think so. I just thought this year I thought it might be an opportunity to do you know, something different and something that's going to last longer than your average pumpkin will. And this kind of fits the bill nicely. Because the good part about these these Halloween spiders, once they're made, they'll they'll last they'll last a good couple of halloweens as well and they're very they're very they're quite they're also quite cheap to put together the materials you can yeah for a very small outlay you can buy enough materials to make probably two three or four of these and that would be more than enough for your average halloween party six seven yes yeah, so we just need one more leg and for our little uh, for our little eight-legged friends here So there we have it, we have eight pipe cleaner legs for our spider. Now we're just gonna we're just gonna keep them put them to one side for a moment. We're just gonna check to see how our how our spider's getting on. See if that glue's ready. And if, um, yeah, the glue's the glue's dry, so the next stage will be to start painting our spider. So grab your paint rushes, grab your black paint, and let's um Let's, let's give this spider a coat. 
with a deck pass glue now dry, as you can see here. You see with the light, you see with the lights reflecting, that's where that's where it's dried. So we've got a nice nice surface to paint on, which won't soak up all the paint. If there's anyone like myself who's worked with styrofoam before, as a as a it's very it, it soaks up moisture like the proverbial sponge, especially paint. And and if you have to if you paint it without sealing it first, you end up putting loads and loads and loads of paint on, and it takes about a week to dry. But by using decoupage glue or PVA glue, that that makes the job a little easier because it seals the surface, and you've got a nice and you've got a nice surface to paint on, which will be our next step. Best paints to use for this project, I would say use, you can use acrylic paint, I've got some here, this is the one I used. This is just a acrylic paint from a hobby, from a hobby shop. Put two, I put two coats of paint on that one, allow, allow each one to dry before applying the second one, that offered good coverage. You can also use poster paint for this one as well. I, do. I think with the poster paint I would go with Maybe one extra, maybe go with two to three coats on that one because depending on what the poster paint is, I mean some of them, some of them are really thick like treacle and some of them are like water, so depending on which or where you've got it from, you may have to add more coats. So if it is quite if it is thinner, I would go for I would go for more coats. If it's thicker, go for less. So without further ado, let's show you how our spider turned out with a coat of black paint on it. Yep, this is one this is one I prepared earlier. As you can see it's had the two coats of paint. And the next stage will be to give our spider some proper legs. These um I think the cocktail sticks look alright, but I think the ones I've got in one which I showed you a little earlier in the video, the with the pipe cleaners or fuzzy sticks. Well I call them pipe cleaners because that's what I used to call them when I was a kid, so that's why that's what I remember the most. Now, to attach our legs, we take the spider body, and we take one of the um, take hold of one of these cocktail sticks, and just just turn it just slightly to break the. If you want to break the seal of where the decoupage glue is, and if it doesn't if it doesn't quite come, if um, by turning it that way though, if it doesn't quite come out, then just grab hold of the cocktail stick and then just they just rotate and just rotate it clockwise like this. This and also this way you'll open you'll open up the hole where the cocktail stick is will so be easier for the legs to come in. And then as it starts to weaken just turn it like this clockwise and counterclockwise just to start breaking that just to start breaking that seal. You can see here it's just starting to it's just starting to weaken and then just Gently, yeah, just gently, gently pull it out, and let's uh, just pull that one out. Oh, sorry, to the camera again. Um, then put the cocktail, put the cocktail stick back in, and then just rotate it like so, clockwise. This will, this will just, uh, as I say, just will open up the where the fuzzy sticks go then just give a little tap to get the debris out and you see there we just got that's enlarged the hole and that's to where our that's yeah, where our pipe cleaner is going to form the spider's leg so I repeat so just repeat that on each each leg so oh, that was broken yeah so when obviously when you're so when you're rotating the the cocktail sticks to open up the holes for the for the legs. Just obviously take care because cocktail sticks are quite fragile and they will snap. If they do, it's not the end of the world. Just grab, just get a pair of pliers or some scissors or even some tweezers to get hold of the broken part and just give it a tug to pull that out. Let's move on to the next one. Let's open that out. A little, just give a little tap to get all the shavings out. I'll just repeat that on that side. As you can see, as you can see on this side, I've uh, made a star on. If um, 
if the if the decoupage does tear, which it it can do when when the when the cocktail sticks are pulled out, I'll just show you ways just to tidy those up after once the once the legs are in place. I'm just taking the last the last handful out. One more. This one, this one, unfortunately broke, but that that should come out quite easy once the once the actual skin of the glue is weakened, which you can see here, it's just starting to weaken. So give it hands how it comes. We'll just take one of the so we'll just take one of the cocktail sticks to open up the hole this side. So, let's take all these cocktail sticks away. Some, I think some survived, some didn't, but never mind. So now we're ready to attach the legs. So we've got the, so I've got the decoupage glue just off of camera. That was the same, that was the same type we used earlier to seal the body. And what you do is you just dip the top of the leg in the decoupage glue and just push it into the Just dip it into the top there. A little bit too much on there, but so it's a bit too much on there, but not to worry. Um, just use one of the other legs. Just wipe it. Yeah, just wipe the excess off. It'll it'll dry. It'll dry clear. So just um. So if there is a little bit of excess on there, just use one of the other other legs there and just wipe here. Yeah, just wipe the excess off. That it'll um, I'll say it'll dry clear. So not to worry and. Put the second one in. Just wipe that on the newspaper because a little too much on there. Yeah, just push that, push the leg in like so. And where some of the legs are, where the decoupage glue was torn when when we pulled the cocktail sticks out, if you just um, apply a little tiny bit of the decoupage glue onto where it's where it's torn, and then just you can just touch it in with a one of the cocktail if it's used one of the cocktail sticks to dab a little bit of decoupage glue on there so yeah just cover up where you know just to cover up where the spread it out a little bit so that'll cover that'll also cover up some of the parts where it's torn and if it's around where the leg goes into the body, that will also that also help it stay put. There's a little, so a little bit more glue, and our spider now has four legs. So he's half a spider. He's a spy. He's a spy. <laughs> spy. <laughs> Yeah, be a spider when she has the rest of his legs attached in a little while. At the moment, so now for leg number five. Just while I'm attaching the last of the legs to our little friends here, I uh, just want to bring you up to speed with what's happening on the channel coming up into going into November because there's going to be some slight changes to our video uploading after after Halloween and going into November. So, beginning of November. There'll be one, there'll be the usual fortnightly video upload, that'll be the next episode of Origami Workshop, that'll be the last episode until the new year. So there'll be more episodes of Origami Workshop coming up in January. And then going into the end of November, going into yeah, the third and fourth weeks of November, our video uploads will change to weekly for the Christmas series underneath the tree which will start 
which will start the third week of November, and that will go through to the second week of December. There's four episodes, and they'll be uploaded weekly rather than fortnightly. So make sure we've got. So make sure everyone gets. Make sure everyone sees our our four episodes of our Christmas series. I'm very much looking forward to. In fact, that's one of my favourite. That's one of my favourite series. The film was the Christmas one because so it can really, really push the really, really push the boats out. The Christmas craft with the I think with the with the Halloween stuff I don't get much call for it at the groups and and really it was just an opportunity to do something a little something extra something I don't really do a great deal of for our younger viewers especially because a lot of them missed out on obviously trick or treating the Halloween parties last year because the obviously because of the Covid crisis and thankfully this year we can go out and we can go actually go out and do Halloween stuff. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do a couple of videos on with Halloween craft to to prepare for the first Halloween parties we've had in two years. In fact speaking of Halloween here's our here's our spider. All the all the all the legs are on. Just using the, we're just using the cocktail stick just to spread out some of the excess glue. No, it's a bit, I know it's a little bit messy now, but it will obviously it will when yeah, that's a little bit messy, but it will once the glue dries clear, it'll be fine. And if there's any any gaps where the deck parts glue was torn, as I mentioned earlier, just use one of the cocktail sticks, dip it in some some of your black acrylic paint, and just yeah, just dab some. Yeah, just dab in there, and that will tidy up nicely. So just while we're waiting for the legs to dry, we'll get a good look at our our spider decoration. I think that looks quite that was quite quite in keeping. You could um you could also decorate the spider with some markings. Um, use some different colour acrylic paints. Give it different colour markings. Uh, make it look a bit more a bit more realistic. Because if um, if you look at obviously look at spiders if you look at spiders on nature programs they have all sorts of different colours and the different markings and especially tarantulas which um I'm sort of you know I sort of been, I have been following another YouTuber who is a a tarantula keeper I think he's based in the states or a couple of them in fact and they are um, they do look quite fearsome they are quite fascinating creatures really the and the, some of the markings of some of them, especially ones from South America as well, are absolutely beautiful. And you could incorporate a little bit of that into your design. Other options, you could also add, you could also add some googly eyes to make it look a bit more friendly. But I think leaving it, leaving it plain black like this is, um, I think it looks a little bit more, a little bit more menacing. And I think that's that's what you want for, for Halloween. And the good thing about our little eight-legged friends here is that it can, because it's so lightweight, because it's made of styrofoam, it's so lightweight you can display it pretty much anywhere. You can display it with your pumpkins outside with the pumpkin lanterns, because the deck particle I'm using is waterproof, so you could use that out there. Or for your Halloween party, you could you could uh, attach it to the walls and blue tack, or you could also um, hang it up, so you could also hang it on the ceiling, so it's sort of hanging down on a web. Just use some. You can use some cotton and tie it here and here, and then hang it. You can hang it up, and it's just just hanging around. <laughs> Get it? Hanging around spiders web. Oh. Well, four attempts of Halloween jokes there, but but while we're waiting for our spiders to dry, that's uh, that's all we've got time for today on to today's special Halloween episode of our online tutorials. Thanks again for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, if you're one of our regular subscribers and you've uh, hit the notification bell, you don't need to do anything, just wait for our next upload to come up in two weeks time, which will be the last instalment of Origami Workshop for this year, it will be the first, it will be the first of two episodes on 2D Origami, a very, you know, very versatile activity indeed, we can use for many, many different things as you'll as you'll see in that, as you'll see in two weeks' time. Don't forget, also stay tuned on the channel for the, we've got the trailer for Under the Tree, that'll be coming out around the same time. So I can give you a, 
give you a sort of taster of what's coming up for the second season of our four week Christmas craft series. And as I mentioned earlier, the Underneath for Tree episodes, they'll be start, they'll be uploaded onto this channel weekly from the third week of November, on our usual our usual Sunday upload day. And if you're not one of our regular subscribers, what are you waiting for? Yeah, hit the note, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and get in on the crafty action. Also, don't forget you can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and handles coming up at the end of the video. Also follow us on Patreon, hope support or help support our work in the community. And also if you're looking forward to do face-to-face -face craft courses with us, you can also you can also book on the face-to-face -face version of Unleaver Tree, which also starts in late November for our new partners class Bento. So you can either, you can either look up our listing on classbento.co.uk or you can look on our website, which is in fact our next stop www.runningmecraft.com just click the class bento link on the home page you can also access our online shop social media channels the youtube channel and also access the dates for our christmas markets which will be ho hopefully be having some of those around we're having around sort of october around sort of october time about the same time this video goes out we should have the first dates in the book for our first Christmas markets in the community. We look forward to seeing you in person. Yeah, drop by, come and say hello, buy some Christmas stuff, and yeah, we'll be very happy to see you. So once again, thanks for watching. Take care, and if you are um, if you are heading out to a Christmas to a Halloween party, I'm sorry, not, not Christmas, get a bit carried away here. So if you are heading out trick or treating for Halloween, of course, for our young viewers, please take care. And most important of all, Stay crafty, whatever you are. <laughs>